I think all day we were like, oh, just get through this last scene. We can do this. We can do this. You know, it was hard. It was heartbreaking. I, I, I didn't even want to memorize my dialogue. The words hurt too much. I want to talk about that final scene between all three of you. What was it like filming that and sort of saying goodbye to this series? Hard. <laughs> was a very difficult day and a difficult scene to get through. Yeah, we were all excited for this closure and to really do this last episode and do it with such love. But I think at the same time, we were also really dreading that last scene because we all knew just the emotion that would be there and that, you know, yes, we're saying, you know, what the characters are saying, but we feel that just as genuinely for each other, you know, that love and family. When we would rehearse it, the first couple days we were like, blah, 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 blah. Like just mm -hmm. read it, mm -hmm. little emotion, because we just, we, we knew would... how hard it was at the table read. We were like, let's get through rehearsal and save it for the end. Candace, seeing DJ's journey as well, getting that sort of fairy tale ending almost. I think that's like the special part of Full House and Fuller House. It's everything you want it to be. So of course, like DJ and Steve had to end up together. She had had to marry her high school sweetheart because if you were invested in the original show it only makes sense for it to happen in Fuller House. So I love that that happened. I think we all love hearing those kinds of stories when they happen in real life. So it makes y'all feel all warm and fuzzy. Was there anyone that you were like, oh man, I wish we got them to appear? I thought it was amazing that so many of them were willing to come back and, and honestly pretty much just do it for free because the show yeah. meant a lot to them as well. I know that uh, Max and Val Schmarkovsky wished that they could have been there and they couldn't. And I think they were the only ones that I was missing. Yeah, I was glad that Dwayne came back, the whatever guy. Whatever. <laughs> Kimmy's yes. old boyfriend. I was glad he was there and just, Personally, like my son was in the audience of the wedding, so that was extra special. What are some of your favorite moments? I mean, Japan was pretty awesome. Not only from like, I mean, the show perspective was fun, but like just the experience I think that we all had together in Japan. Like that for me uh, will be for sure uh, one of the one of the highlights. That and all the dancing we did, like all the fun, silly dances, but like that two weeks, two and a half, three weeks in Japan all together as a family was, that was incredible, a lifetime memory. I have a lot of favorite storylines, but the thing I'll probably remember the most is the episodes where we grew professionally, where Candace was directing or Jody was directing or I was writing. It was really cool to be able to experience each other in those different roles. Mm. So those are some of my favorite episodes too was getting to experience that together for the first time that was really epic. yeah mine i mean i agree with both of you and i will add along with all the musical numbers i loved all the fun costumes that we got to wear over the <laughs> i mean to dress up as the fairy godmother was like amazing oh yes i was in dreamland and the renaissance costumes all the crazy costumes like i will forever take that away and Anything that involved a stunt for me, like the Mexican wrestling episode was so fun. And even in Japan, jumping off the cliff in Japan, there's just so much fun stuff that we, we got to experience and do that I'm like, this is, this is our job. This is our job. Yeah. Like it's such a dream and it's exciting. Thank you for loving us for the last 30 plus years. We couldn't have made the show without you. And thank you for all of your love, your support, your excitement for this show. The fact that you guys have been so excited to watch makes us so happy to perform. I mean, we think about it all the time when we're doing the show, like how excited the fans are going to be. So we hope you enjoy it. And thanks for 30 years of love. And you will always be a part of the Tanner Fuller Gibbler family. That door is always open and you grew up with us for 30 years and you're still, you're still there. So we appreciate that and you will always be part of our family.